You're preparing a scenic flight with friends. Well in advance, you plan your flight thoroughly, step by step. The best way to do this is to use up-to-date flight preparation software. And in addition, remember to cross-check and exercise your basic navigational skills with paper charts. The app shows that your flight path takes a corridor between controlled airspaces. As you already know, controlled and restricted airspaces involve complexities. Entering these airspaces can have consequences and potentially lead to safety hazards. You may, for example, come in close proximity to commercial airline traffic, military aircraft, or even parachute and skydiving activities. Negligence and not following aviation law is dangerous and it can also result in fines. Whether or not your route goes through controlled airspace, you have to consider this in your planning. You should always prepare a detailed route and check if there are restricted airspaces on it. What was your recent experience when carrying passengers? Check NOTAMs, wind and weather conditions, fuel, weight and balance, and you should always have a backup plan ready. On the flight day, do your Am I safe checklist in the morning and also shortly before you fly. Finally, check the latest information right before you take off. Once in the air, follow your plan, but be ready to deviate from it or change it in case of unforeseen or exceptional circumstances, like weather, requests from air traffic control or emergencies, for example. Your navigation app can provide you with unforeseen specific warnings during the flight too. In flight, use flight information service as much as possible. Turn on your transponder. The default code is 7000 for VFR flights, except if another default code is used in your country. Set it before the flight. During the flight, flight information service could provide you with another code. ADSB, Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, will make you visible and allow you to see other equipped aircraft. Flying like this is fun and safe. If you do enter unauthorized airspace, then engage and maintain radio contact with the Flight Information Service and get clearance through them if required. Don't be shy, call and ask for help and be clear. The Flight Information Service is there to support the pilot and can lead you out of the situation. Never hesitate to ask for help. Maintain good situational awareness. Look outside to avoid collisions with other aircraft, terrain or obstacles. Back on the ground, always take a moment to do your own debriefing. Use the replay function of your flight recorder tool or export the flight log and study it. Ask yourself, what can I do to improve my flight next time in preparing the flight as well as during the flight? Don't forget to report any airspace infringement if you accidentally entered a restricted flight zone and share your experience with others so they can learn from it. A good pilot never stops learning and shares flight experience with others. European airspace is complex and navigational errors can lead to airspace infringement and mid-air collisions. Prepare your flight, use modern navigation technology safely, keep good situational awareness, stay visible and never hesitate to communicate.